Welcome. This is the Energy Vibration a reading for the Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you guys really, really have done it. Um, and I can't give myself the thing there, but it's all uh, you Capricorns that has been helping me to really become a success uh, with my channel. And this is wonderful. Thank you um, to all you Capricorns. So, I want to say please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising sign this week is going to be a week of justice and it comes back in your reading on Sunday justice is prevail justice so whatever that was unjust to you or unjust to a situation by you it's going to be balanced out in this week and it's going to be a wonderful wonderful week okay this is going to be an extremely positive week because the energy of justice is here um, the zodiac energy is water so this is going to be profoundly wonderful there is a situation that you guys have um, it's very important if you have a situation with the king of uh, cups or the king of swords it's going to be a situation that is going to affect so most of you capricorns are going to be affected um by the king of uh, cups and the king of swords the king of cups uh, um what is going to happen is that um a lot of you people in the middle of the week is going to have a situation with either the queen or the king of cups and your wishes and dreams are coming true but there is a situation um, it's as if your wishes and dreams are coming true for the king of cups but you have the king of swords and whatever is happening is that you are having a regret over the five of cups which is the, uh, the five of cups is a regret you're having a regret um it's as if you regret that you connected with the king of swords or there is a situation that is going to come in with a regret but when we look at friday there there is a new beginning and there is going to be a new beginning with with money so whatsoever is happening and i princess is watching over your readings and uh, Archangel Metatron is here. The Eye Princess is watching over your reading. The Two of Pentacles. So uh, this week is that your focus is going to be the Two of Pentacles balancing out your financial situation. So whatsoever is happening, a Two of Pentacles is here balancing out your financial situation. We have also the 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 Eye Princess that is watching over you. So if your parents died or your mother, your grandmother died, they are going to be watching over you in this week. So it's good, and it's as if you, you the people, the, the your your spiritual, the, the intergalactic peoples, the angels, your guides, and that sort of a thing. On Tuesday, there is a situation that. Uh, um they're watching over you so whatsoever is happening because the you know the three of swords comes up but it's in the reverse form so they have helped it to be in the reverse form so whatever heartbreak that you were feeling um about something or something that is going to happen um it is it, it's 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 good because your wishes and dreams are coming true okay so it's, it's, it's a sticky little um thing on tuesday but yet still it's going to balance on you have strength and strength is good as i'm looking you have strength you have the the the, the chariot strength and justice just lining up the chariot strength and justice monday you have the energy vibration of the chariot Monday you have the energy vibration of the chariot and the energy of, of vibration of the chariot you are having a victory and success with money so on Monday whatever is happening you have a victory and success with money money is a victorious and successful thing with money that is happening for you guys so this is going to be a positive 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 situation some people will be going in to um, battle and you're going to be winning it because on Friday you have the ace of one so uh, you know th this card can be saying to some people to um, you know move away from certain things and go in a totally different direction and it's going to bring you a lot of money 
on tuesday we have the three of pentacles in reverse which is wonderful i love the energy of the three of pentacles in re the three of wands in the three of swords in reverse i'm so sorry three of swords in reverse is saying that you have no heartbreak um if you had heartbreak heartbreak in the past it's not affecting you in the future because you are going to be um, successful your wishes and dreams are coming true so on Tuesday something is going to happen and you're going to realize that your wishes and dreams are coming true in the middle of the week you have the Queen of Wands whatever is happening with this Queen of Wands and um, the Queen of Wands has is a situation with um, the Queen of Wands comes in with the energy vibration of the queen of uh, um, a water sign so it could be a Pisces or a, a cancer person so these two people in the middle of the week is going to have an effect on you so it could be your parents or it could be uh, someone who uh, you know two people who are working at where you work or it could be um, uh, two people in a business um, sex a business situation that you, maybe you have to do an interview with um, a water sign person and um, a fire sign person they could be um, business people so that sort of a situation is here as we go forward we have the five of cups on Thursday so on Thursday there is going to be a situation with you and the queen the king of swords so remember in the beginning of the region I said to a lot of people because I'm seeing a Libran something is going to happen between you and a Libran it can be a Gemini but I'm feeling a Libran person so and you're going to have a regret that something happened between you and this Libran person and you're going to have a regret about it it's, it's regret coming up on Friday what we have is the ace of ones the ace of ones energy on Friday is going to be a fantastic and a promising one because there's new endeavor and um, whenever the the new endeavor with money on Friday so a lot of people maybe you have started your work and it was a test vast and on Friday you got the good news that you can go forward this is going to be positive for you um, Capricorn people for um, this week so be aware that on Monday you have the energy of uh, um, the chariot but on Friday you have the energy of the the the, the a newness um, the ones energy is always uh, the ace of ones is always a new beginning to certain situation and certain aspect and it's all about work so whatever is happening because on Monday you have a victory and a success with the six of Pentacles and the energy vibration of uh, work is always the newness of something coming in your life the five of cups energy is a disappointment that you have with somebody who is the, the, the king of um, the king of uh, and it's a Libran I'm sure it's a Libran I if I had my zodiac cards I I am sure it's a Libran I'm getting a Libran okay as we look at Saturday we have the energy of strength and the energy of strength comes up and it's a positive energy because you have a strong foundation with inner strength there is a positive endeavor and it's a strong strong foundation so whatsoever is happening with inner strength you have found in the strength and you have built a strong foundation on Sunday you have justice whatever it justice comes up on Sunday this is good this is a positive thing justice comes up on Sunday and it's a positive message so whatever that uh, you had um, with the five of cups uh, a disappointment with the king of swords and and the king of swords can be an Aquarius man uh, an Aquarius man the king of sword could be also a Libra and the King of Sword could also be a Gemini person. So you know it's a, it's 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 a sticky situation because you Capricorns are going to have, you know, money is going to be on Monday. You're going to receive little droplets of money coming in. 
Tuesday, it's going to be your wishes and dreams are coming true because somehow the spirit guides and the angels and guides are bringing in a new endeavor to you on Tuesday, which is just going to be wonderful. And it, uh, it, it has to do with money, but it has to do with, you know, your dreams and wishes. Maybe you were wishing for a good relationship. You're wishing for a good job. You were wishing for positive people in your life. You were wishing for success in your life. This sort of a thing, whatever you were wishing for is going to come in your life on Wednesday be aware because the energy of the king of cups and the queen of wands energy so a lot of people on Wednesday will be affected by the the Pisces the cancers and the scorpion and they will also be of some will also be affected by the energy vibration of the um, the Aries people, the Leo people, and the Sagittarius people on Wednesday. So look for these fire sign and water sign people. Whatever that needs to be cleansed, cleanse it. When we look at um, Tuesday, Tuesday is your wishes and dreams are coming true. So sometimes before your wishes and dreams can be manifested, you have to clear certain aspects and certain things with certain people. And this is exactly what is happening. Um love is not a vital sense because um, it, it, it can be love of uh, you're missing someone uh, you're you, you you have regrets about something um, with um, with someone of uh, I, I'm feeling Libra and I, I, I don't know but a Libra is here just justice prevail so this week is going to be a wonderful week where justice is going to prevail six of Pentacles is a good energy because it's like gifts coming in on Monday a lot of gifts are coming in on Monday so this is going to be positive as we look forward and we're going forward we're going to ask the unicorn what messages is here for the Capricorns oh my god this is the second time this card comes in and it says magic there is magic all around you so expect excitement and joy there is magic going on around you so expect excitement and joy so this is going to be a positive positive week and as you realize and uh, whatever help you're looking for it's on its way so help and it says uh, the help you need is on its way so keep watching out for it and this is very very positive so you know what whatever way you look at things uh, um, it's good in a sense that uh, whatever you know whenever this car comes up expect the unexpected for good luck expect good luck good things to be coming in and just out of random good things are just falling in place falling in your lap and this is going to be so wonderful you know good things just come to you um in just uh, um wonderful new ways and in your life as we move forward we're going to look at the ascension and what does the ascent oh the matra energies and this is good because I've always always told people about this energy this energy is a wonderful energy because you know what what's happening when the Mahatma and it, it, the name of it is Mahatma energy it says I invoke the Mahatma energies to flow through me and surround me whenever the energies of the Mahatma comes up that means um, negative energies very heavy negative energies are around you and they want you to clean this uh, negative energy by asking the Mahatma energy to um, invoke it so you said I am now invoking the Mahatma energy to flow through me and surround me that means heavy as if people are hating on you uh, sending you negative energies this energy will clear it and and block it you know so what it says is that in the golden era of Atlantis many great souls place some of their energies as well as the Christ Buddha light um, and that of the 12 rays into a sacred pool to create a higher energy group of consciousness so this is powerful people and this is why this energy is so powerful and this is what I'm saying to people whenever you feel as if uh, negative energies or people are sending negative energies um, 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 you know um, 
um, spells and that sort of a thing. It cannot hurt you because you have all these energies vibration who can break them. So, you know, um, do not sit there and say, you know, these people are, uh, you know, sending me. No, you have negative energies that can, um, you know, break those spells. So people can't really put a spell on you because there is always, if you can do one thing, you can remove it with something else. So always remember that. This golden white Mahatma energy is once more available. So it's coming back because it was in the third dimension. It wasn't there. And since to December 2012, these energies and that sort of a thing is coming back. So the golden white Mahatma energy is once more available on this planet and you are invited to draw it through your chakra system into the hurt. So whenever you call upon the Mahatma energies and ask it, I invoke the Mahatma energy to flow through me and surround me. You will feel yourself being radiated, but yet still you will, wherever you go, you will use that to cleanse the energy of that place. This raises your frequency and help the planet for um, for you will leave gold and white footstep wherever you go. So again, people do not for the people out there who said yes. And, you know, this person sent me negative energy. This person is trying to trick me. This person is using this to trick me and hurt me. They can't do it because once you can make a trick the trick can be broken. Once people use negative energies to send um, negative energies to other people, it can be broken because we got good and evil and we can always counteract the evil with good and positive energies. And this is one of them. So remember, use this energy and heal whatever is going on around you. And uh, Whenever you find out or people will tell you that these things are happening, just counteract it because the universe provide us with negative and, and bad and good. And uh, we should just use them to balance out each other's. And I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Um, thank you for being back and understand that we are on a journey of love. And I'm saying namaste until next week.